Tamara. The Tamara or Mindoro dwarf buffalo Bubalis mindorensis is a small hoofed mammal belonging to the family Bovidae. It is endemic to the island of Mindoro in the Philippines and is the only endemic Philippine bovine. It is believed, however, to have once also thrived on the larger island of Luzon. The Tamara was originally found all over Mindoro from sea level up to the mountains 2,000 m above sea level, but because of human habitation, hunting, and logging, it is now restricted only a few remote grassy plains and is now a critically endangered species. Contrary to common belief and past classification, the Tamara is not a subspecies of the local carabao, which is only slightly larger, or the common water buffalo. In contrast to the carabao, it has a number of distinguishing characteristics. It is slightly hairier, has light markings on its face, is not gregarious, and has shorter horns that are somewhat V-shaped. It is the second largest native terrestrial mammal in the country next only to the carabao. Anatomy and Morphology B. Mindarensis has the appearance of a typical member of its family. It has a compact, heavyset, bovine body, four legs that end in cloven hooves and a small, horned head at the end of a short neck. It is smaller and stockier compared to the water buffalo B. Bubales. Little sexual dimorphism is seen in the species, although males are reported to have thicker necks. The Tamara has a typical shoulder height of 100-105 cm 39-41 in. The length of the body is 2. 2 m 7. 2 ft. While the tail adds a further 60 cm 24 in. Reported weights have ranged from 180 to 300 kg 400 to 660 lb. Adults have a dark brown to grayish color and more hair than B. buvalis. The limbs are short and stocky. White markings are seen in the hooves and the inner lower four legs. These markings are similar to those of the Anoa B. Depressicornis. The face is the same color as the body. Most of the members of the species also have a pair of gray-white strips that begins from the inner corner of the eye to the horns. The nose and lips have black skin. The ears are 13. 5 cm 5, 3 in long from notch to tip with white markings on the insides. Both sexes grow short, black horns in a V-shaped manner compared to C-shaped horns of B. bubales. The horns have flat surfaces and are triangular at their base. Due to the regular rubbing, the Tamara's horns have a worn outer surface, but with rough inner sides. The horns are reported to be 35, 5 to 51, 0 cm 14, 0 to 20, 1 in long. Distribution. The Tamara was first documented in 1888 on the island of Mindoro. Before 1900, most people avoided settling on Mindoro due to a virulent strain of malaria. However, as antimalarial medicine was developed, more people settled on the island. The increase in human activity has drastically reduced Tamara population. By 1966, the Tamara's range was reduced to three areas, Mount Iglet, Mount Calavite, and areas near the Sablayan Penal Settlement. By 2000, their range was further reduced to only two areas, the Mounts Iglet Baco National Park and Arayan. Initial estimates of the B. Mindorensis population on Mindoro was placed at around 10,000 individuals in the early 1900s. Less than 50 years later in 1949, the population had dwindled to around 1,000 individuals. By 1953, fewer than 250 animals were estimated to be alive. These population estimates continually grew smaller until the Yukon publication of their 1969 Red Data book, where the Tamara population was noted to be an alarmingly low 100 head. This head count rose to 120 animals in 1975. 
Current estimates place the wild Tamara population from 30 to 200 individuals. Ecology and life history. As a rare endemic mammal on a relatively secluded island, the ecology of the Tamara is largely unknown. Individuals of the species are reclusive and shy away from humans. In addition, the small sizes of the species' subpopulations already spread thin throughout their fragmented range on 1986. About 51 individuals are found in a 20 km2 area, make contact with any more than a solitary individual a rarity. Habitat B. Mindarensis prefers tropical highland forested areas. It is typically found in thick brush, near open canopied glades, where it may feed on grasses. Since human habitation and subsequent forest fragmentation of their home island of Mindoro, the habitat preferences of the Tamara have somewhat expanded to lower altitude grassy plains. Within their mountainous environment, Tamaras will usually be found not far from sources of water. They have to live by water so they can drink. They live in moist areas such as marshy areas and grasslands. Trophic Ecology The Tamara is a grazer that feeds on grasses and young bamboo shoots, although it is known to prefer kagan grass and wild sugarcane saccharum spontaneum. They are naturally diurnal, Feeding during the daytime hours, however, daytime human activities have recently forced select B. Mindarensis individuals to be nocturnal to avoid human contact. Life history. The Tamara is known to live for about 20 years, with an estimated lifespan of about 25. The adult female Tamara gives birth to one offspring after a gestation period around 300 days. There is an interbirth interval of two years, although one female has been sighted with three juveniles. The calf stays for two four years with its mother before becoming independent. Behavioral ecology. Unlike the closely related water buffalo, B. mindarensis is a solitary creature. Adults of the species do not occur in herds or smaller packs and are often encountered alone. Only juveniles exhibit the typical bovine herding behavior and clan hierarchy often seen in water buffalo. Males and females are known to associate all year round, but this interaction lasts only a few hours. This solitary behavior may be an adaptation to its forest environment. Adult males are often solitary and apparently aggressive, while adult females can be alone, accompanied by a bull. Similar to other bovines, the Tamara wallows in mud pits. This behavior may be employed by the animals to avoid biting insects. Another distinct behavior in B. mindarensis is its fierceness. Reports have been made concerning their fierceness when cornered, although most are unsubstantiated. Threat posture used by the bovine involves lowering of the head and shifting its horns into a vertical position. This is accompanied with a lateral shaking of the head. Evolutionary History The presence of B. mindarensis on the island of Mindoro, coupled with the discovery of fossil bubalids in other islands around the archipelago, indicates that the family was once widespread throughout the Philippines. In fact, fossil finds in the 20th century have shown that B. mindarensis was once found on the northern Philippine island of Luzon during the Pleistocene. As a member of the family Bovidae, Tamara's close affinity to the water buffalo B. Bubalis has been validated many times in the past. It was once considered a subspecies of B. bubalis as Anoa bubalis, Anoa bubalis mindarensis. Recent genetic analysis studies of the family members further strengthen this view. Etymology and Taxonomic History The Tamara was originally described as Anoa mindarensis by French zoologist Pierre-Marie Hude in 1888. In 1958, it was described as Anoa bubalis mindarensis, a subspecies of the then water buffalo species Anoa bubalis. A little over a decade after, 
the tamarol was elevated to species status as Anoa minderensis in 1969. Later research and analyses of relationships determined the genus Anoa to be a part of the genus Bubalis. The tamarol's scientific name was updated into its present form, Bubalis minderensis, sometimes referred to as Bubalis Bubalis minderensis. The name Tamara has other variants such as Tamarau, Tamaru, and Tamaro. The term Tamara may have come came from Tamadaw, conservation, being an entirely endemic and rare land mammal, B. minderensis stands as an extremely vulnerable species. Currently, it is classified as a critically endangered species and has been so since 2000 by the Iakin on its Iakin Red List of Endangered Species. Awareness of the conservation status of B. Minderensis began in 1965, when it was classified as status inadequately known by the Iakin. Enough data were gathered on the Tamara population by 1986, and the Iakin Conservation Monitoring Center declared the species endangered. Throughout succeeding surveys conducted in 1988, 1990, 1994, and 1996, the species remained listed on the red list as endangered. The relisting of the species in 1996 fulfilled the Yuckin criteria bone plus took and done. Criterion bone indicated that the species range was less than 500 km2, and is known to exist in less than five independent locations. A noticed continuing decline in the population fulfilled subcriterion took, given the condition of the population's sole habitat. Criterion done essentially required that a population be composed of less than 250 mature individuals, individual counts of the bee, Minderensis population at the time figured significantly lower than this. In 2000, the Tamara was relisted on the red list under the more severe cone criteria. This was due to estimates that the population would decline by 20% in five years or within the time span of two generations. Many factors have contributed to the decline of the Tamara population. Over the course of the century, the increase of the human population on Mindoro has exposed the island's sole Tamara population to severe anthropogenic pressures. In the 1930s, the introduction of non-native cattle on the island caused a severe rinderpest epidemic among the Tamara population, then numbering in the thousands. Hunting of Tamaras for food and sustenance has also taken a toll on the species' numbers. The most major factor threatening survival of B. minderensis is habitat loss due to infrastructure development, logging, and agriculture. These factors reduced the population of thousands during the early 1900s to less than 300 individuals in 2007. Due to the decline of the B. minderensis population, in 1936, Commonwealth Act No. 73 was enacted by the then Philippine Commonwealth. The act specifically prohibited killing, hunting, and even merely wounding Tamaraws, with an exception noted for self-defense if one were to be attacked by an agitated individual or for scientific purposes. The penalties were harsh enough to include a hefty fine and imprisonment. In 1979, an executive order was signed creating a committee specifically geared towards the conservation of the Tamara. It was referred to as a source of national pride in the said order. The Tamara Conservation Project was also established in 1979. The organization has successfully bred a Tamara, nicknamed Kali, in captivity in 1999. In 2001, Republic Act 9147, or the Wildlife Resources Conservation and Protection Act, was enacted to protect the Tamara and other endemic species from hunting and sale. During the 1970s, a gene pool was established to preserve the Tamara's numbers. However, the project was not successful, as only one offspring named Kali was produced.
As of 2011, Kali is the only surviving animal in the gene pooling project. The project was also not improved as the Protected Areas and Wildlife Bureau showed that the Tamaras were already breeding in the wild. Cloning was not implemented for conservation as the Department of Environment and Natural Resource argued that such measures would diminish the genetic diversity of the species. Small subpopulation of Tamaras has been found within the confines of the MT. Iglet Game Refuge and Bird Sanctuary on Mindoro. As of May 2007, B. Mindorensis is on Appendix I of the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, where it has been since the species was first put on the list on January 7, 1975. With the listing, CITES recognizes the species as critically endangered and threatened with extinction. Thus, international commercial trade in the species or any derivatives of which, while commercial trade in the species is prohibited, exchange for non-commercial reasons, such as scientific research, is allowed. In October 2008, the Department of Agriculture's Philippine Carabao Center DAPCC Director, Dr. Arnold Del Barrio, officially reported that the Tamaraw population had increased yearly by an average of 10% from 2001 to 2008. The April 2008 Tamaraw Expedition reports of the Tamaraw Conservation Program MT, Iglet Baco National Park in Mindoro Occidental, by government and private entities, including Far Eastern University students, revealed that the Tamaraw population was counted at 263, this year compared to only 175 head in 2001. The calving rate estimated by number of yearlings is considerably high, which could mean that more than 55% of the Tamaraws are giving birth. In Mount Iglet Baco National Park, the official count of the animal was 263 in 2006, 239 in 2007, and 263 in 2008. Mindoro's indigenous Mangian people have stopped slaughtering the animal for its blood. The Haraban Foundation called the animal Mindoro's endangered treasure and later the Philippines' endangered flagship species until 2005. In the 1930s, the Tamaraw population declined due to rinderpest, a viral disease affecting cattle. In the 1960s and 1970s, hunters killed tamaraws for sport. More importantly, the rampant deforestation from 80% habitat forest cover in the 1900s down to 8% in 1988 in the area hastened the animal's decline. The Bangkok, Thailand International Union for the Conservation of Species Yucks has established a 280-hectare gene pool farm in Rizal, Mindoro Occidental. Also, extensive reforestation was implemented to hasten the Tamaraw's propagation. The animals are now found only in the mountainous portions of MT. Iglet Baco National Park, MT. Calavite, MT. Halkin Eagle Pass, MT. Arayan Sable in Mapalad Valley, and MT. Ansad Bongabong Mansalay. The 2002 Presidential Proclamation 273 set October as a special month for the conservation and protection of the Tamara in Mindoro. At least 90% belong to Mount Iglet Baco. As of April 2019, according to June Pinda, Tamara Conservation Program Coordinator of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, the latest count at Mounts Iglet Baco National Park in Occidental Mindoro showed 466 to 494 tamaraws, lower than 2018's 523 animals. Importance to humans. Economical and commercial value. While not as heavily exploited as other large, endangered mammals, the Tamaraw population was subject to some harvesting pressure from subsistence hunters before conservation efforts were spurred towards the latter half of the 20th century. 
The Yakin has described this as still going on in their 2006 Red List report. In Philippine culture, though the national animal of the Philippines is the carabao, the tamara is also considered a national symbol of the Philippines. An image of the animal is found on the 1980 to early 1990 version of the one peso coins. In 2004, Proclamation No. 692 was enacted to make October 1 a special working holiday in the province of Occidental Mindoro. In line with the Tamara Conservation Month, the proclamation aimed to remind the people of Mindoro the importance of the conservation of the Tamara and its environment. In the 1970s, Toyota Motors, through the defunct local company Delta Motors, built the Tamara Asian Utility Vehicle. Because of its ruggedness and simplicity of design, some examples still survive to this day, copied by multinational companies Ford, General Motors, and Nissan, through local subsidiary manufacturers to this day. Because it is an Asian utility vehicle, it shares its design with the Kijang, the Indonesian version. During the wake of the Asian utility popularity in the 1990s, Toyota Motors Philippines released an Asian utility vehicle called Tamara FX in the Philippines, an evolution of the Tamara AUV. It was widely patronized by taxi operators and was immediately turned into a staple mode of transportation much like a cross of the taxi and the jeepney. The FX eventually evolved into the Revo. The Tamara is also the mascot of the varsity teams of the Far Eastern University FEU Tamaras in the University Athletic Association of the Philippines and of the Toyota Tamaras of the Philippine Basketball Association. The Tamara Falls in Barangay the Lafler, Puerto Galera, were also named after the bovine.